look at a new routine called evidence markers. And what an evidence marker is, essentially it's a label or marker that you place in your drawing. And you can attach um, documents, pictures to those evidence markers. And the, the main uh, idea behind evidence markers is to allow the user to create a less cluttered drawing. And then there are some other routines that make use of evidence markers. Uh, the evidence legend and evidence report, which are uh, also some unique features in IMS 1.3.1. And we'll look at those in, in uh, some separate movies. So I'm going to open up our evidence log and I'm going to tile this to the right, just so we can see the points in the evidence log. And you see here I've got some points that these represent evidence uh, points in my diagram and I want to place evidence markers on these. So we're going to start the routine. I'm going to go to EV1. I'm going to select a marker. Let's say a square one. I want the marker to be yellow, text black. I want to put it on a layer called sketch evidence. Text height is going to be 0.1. Uh, I'm not going to add a leader. I don't want to mirror the text. I'm going to uh, put a label of 1 on it. Legend text. This is text that's used by the evidence legend wizard. And this first point is a um, water bottle. And I'm going to attach a picture to it, evidence one. And we can take a look at this here. You can see uh, it is a water bottle. And this scene that we have, uh, or that I have open here, is a mock crime scene that we created. Uh, so it's not a real scene. Uh, so the pictures that you see were all captured by me on my iPhone. All right, so let's insert the first one. You can see there's our marker. We're going to go to the next one, EV2. I'm going to attach the photo for that. Uh, increase the text. EV, EVT2 is a tool. And we're going to insert that. See, there it is. And now we're going to just uh, continue on. We're going to attach again. You can always preview any of these. Uh, this is a cigarette butt. So we'll uh, do that. And And these markers, if you wanted to change it, so let's say like this one that reinserted, maybe you want that to be a triangle. You can just select triangle and hit update. Let me see how easy that is. And you can change the color if you wanted it to be green. We're going to leave them yellow. And we're going to go to, now we're going to go to EVA. And these are blood spots, and what we're going to do is we're going to choose a different marker for those. Maybe we'll make them uh, green. And we're going to add a leader. And we're going to call that number four. Or we could letter it if we wanted to. I'm just going to leave it set to four. And then we're going to insert this. And now because we chose the leader option, you're going to see here we can basically place a leader in the drawing and it automatically added it for us. If you wanted that to be a little bit smaller, you can just update it here. Okay, and then uh, we're going to do the next one. So EVB. That's another blood spot. Oh, that should have been blood. And I should have made that five. And so you can see here, so the previous and next, I can go back to 
EVA, and that should have been blood. So it's quite easy to fix mistakes. Now we're going to go to uh, C, which is a bullet casing. And we're going to go back to uh, square, make it yellow. Make that point 0.1. Six. Bullet casing. I'm going to turn off the, the leader here. And then we're going to uh, also, I forgot to attach the file for that. And what I'm going to show you here, you can also attach. other file. So in this case here a ballistic report which is just a word doc which is attached to this point now and I could preview that and it would open it up in your default document uh, uh, editor. Okay now we're just going to do the last one here. And that's a gun. Okay, so now if we close this, what you can see is we've got our markers in the drawing. If we switch to our templates, you can see how this can uh, make your diagram less cluttered. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze some of these layers that I don't need. I'm going to do that by just uh, picking on the labels. As you can see there. Maybe cleans up the drawing a little bit more. And at this point, we be ready to uh, print print this diagram out. What you can also do is you can, uh, now that you've added the markers, you can create an evidence legend and an evidence report. And we'll look at those in separate movies.